Welcome to this Tutor to You Sociology topic video looking at beliefs in society, focusing on New Age movements. New Age movements are not to be confused with new religious movements. New religious movements have a long history of development that stems back to the Protestant Reformation and are linked to religious belief systems. New Age movements, on the other hand, while incorporating some elements of new religious movements, for example cultic movements and client cults, are a more recent invention, linked to the growth of postmodern thought and traced back to the latter part of the 20th century. New Age movements are less tied to dogmatic interpretations of religious belief and more focused on spirituality and personal growth. New Age movements are a broad variety of beliefs and often accompany religious practices. It is not exclusive that people believe in religion or New Age movements. These include belief in reincarnation, astrology, physics and the presence of spiritual energy in physical objects like mountains or trees. Examples of New Age beliefs include shamanism, interacting with the spirit world through altered states of consciousness, for example trances. Paganism, a modern religious movement incorporating beliefs or practices from outside of the main world religions, especially the worship of nature. Other practices such as Tai Chi, Yoga and Reiki are derived from Eastern philosophies and look to link body and spirit together. Other examples of New Age movements include mysticism, clairvoyance, psychic healing, tarot card reading and astrology. In practice, New Age movements move away from collective worship to individualism and the desire of people to develop their own sense of spirituality and connection with the world. There is a tendency towards self-improvement or cleansing of negative emotions. With New Age movements, there is a desire to engage with individual solutions to allow people to reflect and find their own path to enlightenment rather than follow a predetermined path in traditional religious practice. Its ties to the postmodern era come from the rejection of grand narratives put forward by established religion and how individuals can show agency in their beliefs. In many New Age movements, such as paganism, there is an emphasis on connecting with nature and seeing themselves as an extension of the natural world. The unstructured and interconnected nature of New Age movements led Helas to refer to them as a holistic milieu, a mass of spiritual beliefs that individuals could choose from, selecting different elements from each without being tied to one specific set of beliefs. And this rejection of structural ideas of modernity is supported by sociological research. Drain found that New Age movements increased in popularity in the latter part of the 20th century as the rigid social institutions of modernity failed to adequately provide explanations in a changing world. Furthermore, Helas argued that people came to distrust social institutions in late modernity and instead looked for enlightenment from the New Age, seen as a symbol of new hope for society. As modernity created greater individualism, New Age movements were a natural extension of this, moving away from collective worship towards individual practices that both defined and fit in with individuals' identities. Similarly, Bruce suggested that the failing of social institutions sought people to look for answers elsewhere, and this led to the growth of New Age movements. The rejection of experts, a symptom of postmodernity, and their ideas led individuals to look for their own form of personal enlightenment, and this coincided with the growth of New Age movements. Furthermore, Bruce argues that New Age movements are a result of the process of secularisation, Disenchantment with traditional religion resulted in people choosing alternative approaches to spirituality. Alternatively, Hila sees the growth of New Age movements as part of a larger spiritual revolution in society. As society changes, people's understanding of their place in the world becomes less objective, more individualised and therefore is a development of a subjective life, one based upon the needs of the individual for personal fulfilment and a greater understanding of their own consciousness. As a result, people place less emphasis on the roles that they play and more upon embarking on a personal journey. This links into ideas of late and postmodernity as a period of reflexivity and individualism. And this can be supported by ideas such as spiritual shopping proposed by Hervé Leger. 
People have adopted a pick and mix approach to spirituality, which allows them to select elements of different belief systems that fit in with their own personal worldview. People can have religious beliefs and combine those with other spiritual beliefs in contemporary society, and new age movements fill in those gaps that traditional religions leave. We can also analyze the growth of new age movements and correlate this to the sharp decline in attendance at traditional religious events. Not only regular services, but ceremonies and life events as well. People increasingly look to what they want rather than what society expects of them. Although critics would argue that new age movements are an extension of capitalism into spiritual beliefs, with many new age movements requiring financial commitments and companies profiting greatly from the need for individuals to find fulfillment often a result of feeling alienated in late capitalist society. Furthermore, it can be argued that the spread of new age movements is a middle class phenomena, another form of social exclusion, which allows the more affluent to gain fulfillment, whilst the poorest in society remain unfulfilled. That concludes this Tutor to You sociology topic video looking at beliefs in society, focusing on new age movements. Thanks for watching.